Hey guys, how are you going and welcome to your third Moment JS tutorial. This one is going to be about getting and setting units in Moment JS and um, it's going to be quite a straightforward and easy video. And basically you're going to be using a getter whenever you would like to get a particular unit from a Moment object. For example, if you want to know what year a Moment object is in, you can use a getter for the year. If you want to change a particular value, such as the amount of minutes in a datetime uh, moment object, you can do so using a setter. So it's much easier to explain through code. So let's go inside the editor right here and begin by creating a moment object for the current date and time. So we can say const m is equal to a new moment object right there. Um, remember from the previous video where we explained that calling moments just like this is going to give you a moment object for the current date and time. So if I was to console.log um, m.toString, we will we'll be able to see um, the current date and time in the local format. So if I was to save this and refresh the browser, we have here, obviously, uh, Monday, May 20, 2019 at 10.45 p.m. in my GMT plus 10 hour offset. So we can see here, we begin with this date time right here. We're going to be using getters and setters, and then we can see what the change date is going to be after we have used some of the setters. So let's go back inside here and begin with um, getting some of the units. So for example, I'm going to say here getting units and down here and probably units is not the best name for this but basically you can do something like console.log m.minutes just like that and it's going to give you the amount of minutes for this moment date object so I can save this and refresh and we get here 46 because I'm currently in the 46th minute it is currently 10:46 p.m. where I am so we get here 46 right there. So we can do uh, more things such as um, hour and also week. These are just two more examples. Of course, um, on the moment website, you can see here that there's a lot of different uh, getters and setters you can choose from right here. I'm going to be covering just a couple, but they all follow the same concept. So back inside here, if I was to refresh the page here, we can see once again, um, the minute has changed to 47. We are in the 22nd hour of the day and we are in the 21st week of the year. Okay, so that is how you can use um, uh, getters just like that and also um, conveniently moment also lets you use plural so for example I can use hour or I can use hours and it's going to give me the same result right there still get 22 so that is uh, one way you can use a getter the second way to use a getter is you simply say console.log or just m.get you say get then you put in as a string, as an argument, your actual unit. So for example, if I was to put quarter inside here, it's going to tell me what quarter I'm in. And that is equivalent to saying m dot quarter, just like that. So I can save this and refresh and we can see here, I'm in the second quarter of this year. And that is all we have for getting particular units. So when it comes to setting units, this is a bit more interesting. And basically, it works in a very similar fashion where you're going to call one of these methods. So for example, I can say m.minutes and then pass in a value instead. I can say, for example, uh, 52. And this is going to change my minute from 48 to 52. So I'm going to go down here and simply console.log once again the same uh, date time. I can save this and refresh. We can see now after setting the value, the old one is 49, the new one is 52. So we've successfully changed the particular units right here for the date time object or the date object. All right, cool. So back inside here, let's see a few more examples. Uh, we can set the hour to something like 14 and the week to something like 4. Save this, refresh, 
and uh, the week of four has set us all the way back to January, so Monday, January 21st. Of course, the hour is set to 14. Pretty straightforward stuff. So, um, similar to the um, to the get method, you can also say m dot set and pass in your particular unit right here. For example, I can say day, and I can make this something like uh, four. So the way that day works is day is basically the day of the week. So the value you give here is going to be from 0 to 6, 0 being Sunday, 6 being uh, Saturday. So 4 here is going to be, I believe, Thursday. So I can save this and refresh, and we get here in the console, the date has been changed to Thursday. And what's good also is because um, what you can do is, if you were to give more than 6, it's going to basically overlap and continue on, to the next week. So for example, if I also say 8 here, even though the technical max is 6 for Saturday, 8 would be Monday because it goes 6 Saturday, 7 Sunday, and then 8 Monday. So I can save this and refresh, and we get Monday right here back again. So um, I might just put 9 for a better example, make this Tuesday, refresh, we get Tuesday right there. So as we can see, um, and this works for basically all of these methods, so um, if I was to make this uh, 65, it should go to 60, then overlap to be uh, 5 minutes. So I can save this and refresh, and we get here 5 minutes right there. So that is how you can set units in Moment.js. We have two more things here, and that is the minimum and maximum of a particular set of moment objects. So essentially you're able to compare uh, two or more moment objects and see which one is the max or minimum between um, those two or those multiple objects. So for example, I can say here const uh, different moments, okay, is equal to moments, and I can say, 2019, let's just say 0525, so the 25th of May, and then I can say console.log, I can use moment.max and pass in here m, so the current day and time, and then I can say different moment right there, dot two string. So the max method is going to return the maximum of these two moment uh, objects and then output it as a string. So I can save this and refresh. Obviously Saturday, May 25th is more than the current time of M. So we're gonna get the 25th of May inside the console. Uh, similarly, if I was to make this moment.min, we are now gonna get the current time in the console refreshed and we get here Tuesday, Jan 29. Oh, so you know what? We've actually modified, of course, um, the um, the object right here. So this is actually going to be January 29 and not the current date time. Of course, if I was to make this the current date time, we're going to get the same result right there. So basically, yeah, the min and max allow you to find the minimum or maximum of a given set of moment objects. And that is all for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.